Hello, I'm Jo Tate. I work for the HE Co-op. We are universities who work together to produce online resources for healthcare courses. I've worked extensively over the last year with our member universities to create a resource for experienced prescribers thinking about or who are about to undertake the role of a DPP. This is a short 10 minute video which provides an introduction to the aim of the DPP preparation course, its content and how to use it. The course has been developed by established non-medical prescribing programme leaders using their understanding of the learning needs of healthcare professionals undertaking a programme of preparation to prescribe as a non-medical prescriber. The aim of this resource is to support the preparation of experienced prescribers who will be supporting the learning and assessment of trainees as non-medical prescribers during their period of learning in clinical practice. It is recognised that the resource will be accessed by prescribers with a variety of levels of experience supporting and assessing students. Therefore, the resource provides a range of information for DPPs, facilitates self-assessment and reflection on readiness to support in the learning and assessment of trainees, can be used as a resource for continuing professional development, provides flexible access, enables the download of module certificates confirming completion, thus providing evidence of engagement. This is to support those who are new to the role and provide a refresher for those who have already supported prescribing students. The DPP resource has been aligned with the Royal Pharmaceutical Society, the Nursing and Midwifery Council, and the General Pharmaceutical Council Standards for Prescribing Practice and Programmes of Preparation. The course is divided into modules to enable the selection of specific areas of learning according to the level of need. The modules include development of non-medical prescribing practice, competencies, the competency framework, the non-medical prescribing programme, assessment of the period of learning and practice, supporting assessment decisions and outcomes, and the legal scope for non-medical prescribing practice. So how to access the resource? You can obtain access to the resource either through setting up a personal account or your organisation can arrange access for a number of DPPs at the same time. To set up your own account, you can visit our website, hecooperative.co.uk forward slash DPP, Click on the link that will take you through the registration pages. So you just need to scroll down to the section where it says um, how to access the resource and there's a sign up link here. What to expect after you've registered? An email will be sent instantly, so please do check your spam or junk if you've not received in your inbox. You will need to create a password if you haven't done so already. Once this has been done, you can start using the resource immediately. You'll be given access to two courses. One des designated prescribing practitioner preparation and another quiz only version. If you've got any difficulties at all accessing the resource, then you need to email support at hecooperative.co.uk. If you're an experienced DPP who is looking to refresh their knowledge, you may wish to access the quiz as this is a short version of the course which has pulled out the knowledge test only. As a new DPP or practice supervisor, then it would be beneficial to complete all of the modules and take the quiz at the end of each section. The resource is designed to help you acquire the relevant knowledge base and competence to enable you to feel confident in this role. The resource can be completed a module at a time or if preferred in its entirety. Individual modules can take up to 30 minutes to complete depending on the existing level of knowledge. The complete resource will take two to three hours. Completion certificates are available for each module and for completion of the overall resource. This can be used as evidence of CPD and professional competence. So getting started, when you receive the link to set up your password, you should have stored the login link and the password somewhere safe. You will always access the DPP resource by logging into the Health VLA.
you will always need to click on log in to your personal account if you forget your password then it's easy to reset your password from this particular section now to have a quick look at the resource once you've logged in there is a progress bar on the left so you can see what percentage of the resource you have completed here you'll see I've completed 23% there's also a handy map overview so that you can see the full structure of the course and at a glance see what modules you have completed. The ones in green are ones which I've completed, the ones in blue are the ones which I have yet to look at. Once your progress bar is showing 100% you will be able to go into my profile and access a completion certificate. So features of the resource include each module title is in a yellow folder. This will turn to green if you have been in and read the resource. And the progress bar on the left shows what proportion of the resource you have completed. You should now have a better understanding of what the resource is and how to access it. If you haven't done so already, please make a note of these key web pages. hecooperative.co.uk forward slash dpp. This is to gain access to the resource if you want to self-register. healthvle.co.uk is where you need to click in order to access the DPP resource once you have registered. And finally, it may be useful for you to know about the numeracy development and assessment resources tailored to healthcare professions which sit on our SNAP platform, snap-ae.com.